One, three, any other? For number one is the following relation of function. So if you see multiple arrows coming from the x's going to different y values, so like this. No. Three. We're doing range. So we're looking for lowest to highest. We're going to assume that these are endpoints since we don't see open circles. So I'm going to write both the interval notation and your set builder notation. What would the lowest point be? Negative two. So in interval notation, endpoint has a bracket. Highest point? Five. Again, endpoint bracket. So interval notation, set builder notation would be negative two less than or equal to y less than or equal to y. Other questions on the check box? Today's review lesson is on factoring. Uh, when we originally did factoring, we did not do very well. But also, those of you moving on to algebra 2, you need factoring. So, good practice for next year. Okay. Um, in algebra 2, you'll need all the different types of factoring. We are just going to review two of them. The basic trinomial, where you have a trinomial where the a value is 1. Your rules for this are you have to find two numbers that multiply bc that add or subtract bc. So, G, Nicole, make sure you're writing this down. Those are our rules for this entire thing. Look through this first page. Find which ones we want to see, do, go over, have questions about. How about uh, 17? Sure. We have 2, 11, 17, any others? 3. Know your factors of 20 on your calculator. You're going to start 20 divided by 1, divided by 2, divided by 3, keep going until you find your factors. Multiply 
Think about your factors of 18. What times what gives you 18? Uh, 6 and 3. Or, yeah, it's 6. So our variable is now h plus 6 and h plus 3. Questions on that one? Our next one was 11. Now we're looking for two numbers that multiply to be negative 45 and add to be 4. When you're looking for those factors, I would just find the factors first, and then once you figure them out, one of them will have to be negative, and we'll have to figure out which one. We are going to use those numbers. Negative 16, positive 4. K minus 16, K plus 16. Any others we want to see do go over the view on this side? If not, look at the back. Starting with two, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to be 30 at the 11. Uh, positive 5 and 3, 6. Okay. A plus 5, A plus 6. Z 
18 is going to be similar. Any 
before you guys practice, I want you to do this. On either your computer or your phone, on Canvas. In my class, I'm on the home page. The home page. Find the most recent announcement. On the most recent announcement, find the grade pages. You can go into this through the novels also, but this is probably the easier way. And you'll either be able to see this or you'll need to download this Excel sheet. Put in your semester one, your quarter three, and what you either have now or what you think you're going to make for quarter four to play around with what you will need on the final to pass the class or to get the grade you want. So do that so you can look at your grades. I'm going to be calling some of you up to talk about grades. And then be using this time to work on practice, practice factoring so you're good with it. Our test is coming up on the 22nd. Quiz is coming up on the 18th. We're almost done with our review unit. Um, do the Khan Academy, Unit 8, the review stuff. Or work on retake work, missing tests. Questions on what you're doing today. If you need to work on your retake stuff or missing tests, you can come see me. Use this time wisely. Let me know if you need my help.